Palau is developing an ambitious marine spatial planning initiative to support the sustainable management of the marine resources. Marine spatial planning is a process that helps to manage different human activities within marine areas, such as fisheries, conservation, and tourism. This is designed to help different stakeholders to continue to benefit from the marine resources while protecting it for future generations. In the last decade, there's been uh, a lot of changes uh, regarding uh, ocean conditions, uh, climate change, overfishing, pollution. We are an island surrounded by water, so we are particularly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. And we have to engage in marine spatial planning to mitigate that, those impacts. With the marine spatial planning, you know, there's the set zones, the set the times and set uses. It gives the ocean time to breathe, reset, readjust, and repopulate. So we have fishermen, we have the tour industry, we have transport, we have commerce, we have different folks playing in the same playground. It's important that there are rules, that there are guidelines that allow us to be able to derive benefits from the same area. The marine spatial planning process will help Palau to balance demands for development with the need to protect the environment and its goal of achieving 100% management of its ocean environment. The marine spatial planning process involves the whole community coming together and coming up with how to optimize the use of our ocean resources to benefit the people. So true, effective ocean management cannot be achieved without marine spatial planning. The success of marine spatial planning relies on the effective engagement of all key stakeholders in the planning process. These are the people who are frequenting the ocean, so they need to understand what's going on with it. They need to be a part of the solution. Marine spatial planning will increase their fisheries outcomes will increase their tourism outcomes. Palau also believes that it is critical to involve young people to help ensure the future success of the marine spatial planning process. If we start now marine spatial planning with the youth, they'll be the ones to carry this process in five, 10 years from now. Involving all impacted parties in the conversation is key for community buy-in. If we're trying to make a big change, we need to get everybody on board. For Palau, it is also vital that traditional knowledge underpins the marine spatial planning process. Our oceans were managed and sustained by our forefathers for thousands of years. Without the, the modern technology, it's important that we put stock into the traditional knowledge that was key in ensuring that these resources are still here. What's most important is that we can continue to fish, just like our forefathers did for thousands of years. We want to continue that legacy to make sure that we protect, but we also provide. Traditional knowledge and scientific knowledge should be complementary to each other when it comes to establishing marine protected areas, but also in terms of managing those protected areas. Marine spatial planning is really about taking ownership of your ocean today and taking ownership of what it will be uh, in the future for your children.